What drives you, exile? Is it justice? Revenge? Honor? No. It is power. Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood Badger here and I am proud to announce the signups for BPL7 God Slayers. Now what is BPL you might be asking? Well if you've missed the previous BPLs, all six of them, BPL is a massive team based private league where teams go head to head scoring points for their team to come out on top over a four day period. Now you can score points for your team through things like boss bounties, collecting unique sets, heisting and collecting things, delve, and this time around, which I'll talk about in a moment, daily bounties. BPL is starting on the 11th of March at 7 p.m. UTC, which is 2 p.m. Eastern time. And if you're in Australia like me, bright and early 6 a.m. on the dot. Obviously, signups are open now, and the signup link for the website is down below. Simply click on the sign up or login tab, follow all the instructions, and you will be signed up. However, there are only 2400 spots, so make sure you sign up sooner rather than later. Also, remember to join the Discord right down below. Both of these things, sign up and Discord, are mandatory for participating in the BPL. All of your team organization, like what team you're being split into, and all of your team channels, voice chats, text chats, all of your strategies are all dealt through the dedicated BPL Discord. So make sure that you've joined that one as well. Also, if there's any problems during your sign up, you can definitely post there and try to get as much help as you can. And we will update you with any difficulties with everything going on through there as well. So with that small bit out of the way, let's get into the meat of it, because I'm sure you're wanting to know what's changed this time around. If you did see the teaser, you may have seen at the very end, this time we're opening it up to six teams. 2,400 people in total, so you can imagine 400 people per team. Now, in the past, as we've basically raised the roof on the number of people in BPL, teams are beginning larger. So this is something that we've wanted to do for a while, is make more teams and have less people per team, so the community aspect is still there. This time around, with six teams, we're hoping that we have solved that problem. Let's talk about the teams to begin with. As with all BPLs, as you sign up, there will be a waiting period, and then there will be a team sorting period. Now the team sorting period will start three days after this announcement of this video and will last for four days for any stragglers still signing up. You are randomly assorted into one of six teams this time around and each of those six teams has a variety of ascendancies to choose from. If you don't play an ascendancy that is allocated to your team, you will not be able to score any points for your team and you will be flagged as ineligible to earn anything. So make sure you have a good look at what team you're randomized into and what ascendancies you can play. As always, each team gets ascendant as their kind of jack of all trades ascendancy. So if you want to build a build for ascendant, you can do it in any team whatsoever. But let's go through all of the teams. I'm sure you wanna know what they are. Now these teams are inspired by Arch Nemesis League itself and they go as follows. Solaris, Lunaris, Innocence, Kitava, Arakali, and Tukahama. These six teams are going to be the six teams that you are randomized into. So as you're randomized into it, check the Discord, jump into those channels, say hi to your teammates, but uh, that is not happening just yet. Make sure you signed up. Let's go through the ascendancies that each team gets given. First of all, we have Solaris. Solaris gets given Saboteur, Guardian, Elementalist, Gladiator, Berserker, and Trickster. Lunaris gets given Necromancer, Occultist, Raider, Berserker, Inquisitor, and Trickster. Innocence gets Elementalist, Deadeye, Pathfinder, Slayer, Chieftain, and Guardian. Kitava gets Necromancer, Assassin, Pathfinder, Champion, Hierophant, and Juggernaut. Arakali gets Occultist, Deadeye, Slayer, Gladiator, Hierophant, and Juggernaut. 
And lastly, Tukahama gets Saboteur, Assassin, Raider, Inquisitor, Champion, and Chieftain. And once again, all six of these teams do have Ascendant as their kind of Joker card. You can play Ascendant on any team. So if you want to figure out a build and you don't know your team yet, you can definitely be safe planning an Ascendant. All right, let's move on to the point scoring. First of all, let's talk about unique sets. Now, unique sets have been in BPL for a while, and what a unique set is, is a collection of uniques from a boss or league mechanic that are brought together as a team and given to your team leader for scoring. Now, the first team that scores a unique set gets a bonus 30 points, and each individual unique in each unique set gets 15 points. The first team, as I said, to score this bonus is 30 points. The second team is minus five points from there. So 25 points for second, 20 points for third, and going down all the way to sixth for five points. We're bringing back all of the unique sets we've done in the past, making sure that they're fixed up a little bit, and also bringing in obvious new ones such as Searing Exarch, Eater of Worlds, and then adjusting things like the changes that were happening to Fated Uniques and bringing in some other stuff as well. But all of the details of this, all of the information, if you're ever wanting anything, will be on the website in the ladder section. You can go to the ladder, you can go to Uniques, and you can check out all of the Uniques that are going to be there to score for your team. This is also a good point. All of the information that I'm not talking about in this video right here will be both in the Discord and on the website itself. So if you want clarification, you can go there. If you still need clarification, just ask in the Discord. People will be able to help you out. Once again, to submit these uniques, you must give them to your team leader. Now, if you drop a really rare unique and you want it back, just let your team leader know. They'll put a note with that unique to give it back to you at the end of the event. Once a unique is submitted, it cannot be taken out unless there is a replacement unique to replace it instantly. So team leaders and everything like that, make sure that you don't take them out. There is a little bit of a fun bonus thing happening with some unique sets, and these are Joker uniques. Now, what is a Joker unique? It is a very, very rare unique for four sets in particular that can replace any other unique in that set. For example, if you're running the lab set and you need Death's Door, you cannot find Death's Door for the life of you, but you manage to drop a Labyrinth Jewel, one of the very rare Labyrinth Jewels, you can replace that Labyrinth Jewel for your Death's Door or as your Joker unique completing the set. Now, as I said, there's only four sets that have a specific Joker unique, and they go as follows. For Breach, you have Ulnatol's Vow. For Betrayal, you have Cloak of Tamur Isley. For Blight, you have Strangle Grasp. And as mentioned before, for Labyrinth, you have any of the Labyrinth Jewels. All right, let's move on to the next one, Heist. Not much is changing with Heist whatsoever, but for those who might be new, you can score points for your team for collecting alternate quality gems. You don't have to collect each individual type of alternate quality. So if you have an alternate quality, any of the alternate quality purifying flames, that's counted. You don't need divergent and anomalous. You just need one of them. And then you also score points for collecting uh, replica uniques. And then we've also added a couple of the other heist specific uniques there as well. Once again, this can only be tracked if you give it all to your team leader, but that's about it for heist. Now for something very exciting, a BPL first daily objectives. Daily objectives are exactly what they seem. Objectives that you and your team can work together on a daily basis to complete certain randomized tasks to get yourself points. There are going to be three daily objectives each 12 hour cycle, starting from 12 hours after the league starts. Now, these can be scored for 15 points each and an extra 15 points for a total of 60 points if you complete all of the bounties. They last for 24 hours, and so they do overlap. You've got a 12-hour increment starting 12 hours after the league, lasting 24 hours, but then 12 hours after the first one starts, the second one starts, etc., etc. Now, these are obviously randomized bounties, so there's no way that you're getting any hold of the list of all of the bounties that we do have for you out there. But to give an example, say for example, one of the bounties is collect this very specific unique with a very specific corruption on that unique. 
So you're gonna have 12 hours to try and find as many of that unique as you can and corrupt as many as you can or potentially double corrupt for a better chance if you would like to. There's gonna be lots and lots and lots of other stuff, not just like that, but in lots and lots of different ways. So uh, get ready for some very interesting daily bounties. Uh, now, now those daily bounties and objectives are all announced through Discord. So once again, Discord is mandatory. Jump down below, hit that Discord button and uh, get into it. The daily objectives are only scored like many other things if they are given to your team leader. They must be held there for the duration of the daily objective and can only be dished out once the daily objective is complete. Each easy objective, so there's two easy objectives and one hard objective per daily. The easy objectives net you 15 points each, and the hard objective gets you 30 points, and if you complete all three objectives, you get a bonus 15 points. So for each daily, there is a total of, what is that, 75 points. Now, this is going to mean that dailies are going to be very, very important to meaning uh, to, to get your team over the edge. So make sure that you pay really good attention to your dailies. All right, let's move on. Next off, personal objectives. In the past, this has just been called levels, but we're calling it personal objectives now just because we can also automatically track things like ascendancy points. Uh, so it's going to be your levels, your ascendancy points, and if you fully ascended, and then for those crazy people out there, some bonus stuff for level 100 as well. Now, I'm not actually going to go into the point details for this because in the past with BPLs, the levels have, uh, People have always tried to game the level system, and that's not what we want. Basically, all I'm really going to say is if you play BPL, you just generate more extra points for your team by leveling up. So it's better to be in the level 80s than the level 70s, but it's not going to mean that your team loses if you're level 70. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it, there's, there's some interesting waiting stuff going on behind the scenes. We will be releasing more information about that. Don't worry. We're not going to keep you completely in the dark because we want to be transparent about it. But I just don't want people trying to game the system. Basically, just treat it like if you level up, you get more points for your team. That's it. All right, let's talk about Delve points. Delve has been a bit of a contentious point system in past BPLs, but we're trying to nail it down into something that we think is really going to work. And we've nailed it down into two specific types of scoring. The first scoring is cumulative delve level. You, with your team, will try to cumulatively delve to 5,000 depth. This means that if you've got 400 people on your team, if they're all, what, like 120 depth, that's 5,000 uh, 5, depth right there. You can have some people push, pushing more, some people pushing less. If you hit that 5,000 delve, you get a bonus 200 points to your team. So that's going to be a lot of points to score and uh, fairly mandatory for doing well on the leaderboards. However, there is still a delve race. For those of you who really like being a solo delve pusher, and I would probably say just try to dedicate one person per team, otherwise you'll be siphoning too much sulfite everywhere. But this solo delver can be funneled sulfite to uh, get to a race for 777 delve depth. Now, the team who scores that first will get 77 points, second place will get 66, third place will get 55, and fourth to sixth place will get 44 points. Now, you can only score one per team, so you can't get first and second with two different people on the same team. It's just, as you score it, like the boss bounties, you will score it. Speaking of, we'll talk about the boss bounties now. Boss bounties are another extremely fun part about BPL. Not just for those killing the bosses, but for the rest of the team cheering them on and funneling them gear and uh, stuff to be able to farm those bosses first. Boss bounties work like this. The first team to kill a boss will submit this boss kill to Discord and they will score the maximum amount of points. Now there are lots of different bosses. We are also introducing the Searing Exarch and the Eater of Worlds. And we're also adding other things like completing the Uber Lab I-83 with any offering, Katarina I-83, which we've done in the past, and things like a pure Kaola, which we have done as well. All of the actual bosses will be on the website. I'm not gonna go into all the point details right now, but I will say as well, we're adding more high-end, very hard difficulty invitations with a certain amount of quantity on them as well for those really, really high challenge pushes. Things like Wave 30 Simulacrum, and a Blight Ravaged map without building any towers. 
Now, you're probably wondering, what do I get for winning if I'm on the winning team? Well, BPL has always been about the community aspect. And because, you know, there's 400 people per team, it doesn't make financial sense for me, someone who's, you know, a, a small to medium streamer, to be able to crowdfund and generate a monetary prize for every single person. We do have prizes such as a title in the Discord. When you do win, your entire team gets a cool title. Bragging rights are really, really cool. But for those very, very standout people on your team, we have MVP voting. It's going to be three people per team, and depending on how much we crowdfund, and I will also say if there's any streamers watching this, if you want to be a part of the crowdfunding, please shoot me a message. Uh, we can definitely uh, take some, you know, <laughs> some more crowdfunding for prizes. First of all, all of the crowdfunding over the next week and during BPL will be done. Uh, there's a, a donation link down below. You can also donate through my stream. Uh, and then, you know, anyone else who wants to, you know, make a donation of any other sort, please let me know. But it will be put towards, first of all, the MVP prizes for each team, uh, which is going to be supporter packs. Uh, it's also going to be put towards the team itself behind this. If we get excess, we're going to be, you know, buy some pizzas for the team, have a fun night or something like that. Because honestly, I'm just at the front of this and I'm not doing much of the work of organizing all of this. There's people developing the website. Uh, we want to pay for websites, uh, hosting services and everything like that as well. Uh, and, you know, to really just reward these people who are doing this completely out of their own time. So if you're watching this and you're a part of the BPL command team, you guys are awesome. You know that you're awesome. Um, and yeah, uh, I, I want to be able to give back to them. So the more that people crowdfund, the more that we can give back to these people who are who are helping. Uh, none of it's going to me. Um, it's all going towards the BPL and uh, going to make sure it gets to the team as well. So, uh, you know, uh, BPL team as well from now on to the end of BPL. Any donation on my stream or anything like that is going straight towards that. That's all I really have to say. Uh, remember, once again, Discord down below, mandatory sign up, and the uh, the link there as well for the website, sign up on that one right there. If you have any questions whatsoever, the Discord is the best place for that. You can come watch me live on stream at twitch.tv slash thisisbadger, and if you, you know, want to click one more time, you can also hit that sub button down there below if you would like to. Thank you so much for watching. I think I've covered it all. That's it. Until next time, Badger is out.